Uh, guys, if the leg is the first thing kids know about me, that's all they'll care about. I want to make friends because they like me, not because they feel bad for me. Josh, let's start with you. So, you know, you're a Paralympian and a best-selling author, and Best Foot Forward is actually based on your story. So share a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I uh, am a, a Paralymp Paralympic athlete. I uh, was a ski racer and I went to the Paralympics and I uh, wrote a book soon after that about my journey uh, through childhood, losing my leg to cancer and eventually becoming a ski racer. And that book is what our series is is based on. And, uh, and I'm, I'm so lucky to be in a situation where, you know, these, these stories from my life are being adapted to the screen and hopefully will reach a much larger audience than ever before. Absolutely. And and I understand you actually found Logan to star in the series. Talk to me about that. Yeah, we found Logan through uh, through our just sort of search, uh, really a worldwide search looking for a, a kid to play, you know, the young version of me. And uh, Logan, as it happens, uh, came through my Instagram. Uh, he was he was familiar with me from my social media and I did a, a casting call post on my Instagram and uh, and he and his mom saw it and and read an audition for us and and we loved it. Well, so talk to me about that, Logan. I'm mean, here. You are, you know, getting to act, have a series created around you, and um, what what was that like? It was crazy because, um, you know, I already followed Josh on Instagram. Like I knew who he was, and just to see this like casting call, and then for somebody like to tag me in it, and then to see it, and like, what's this? It, <laughs> it, it was it was crazy, and just to um, kind of just be thrown into it and then just okay I'll, I'll audition I guess and then to see like everything being created and like getting to where all right well I guess we're gonna film it now like, <laughs> we're gonna make a show I guess yeah. I guess in. I got it so yeah I guess I'm moving to California yeah. <laughs> it, it was a it was a great experience and I think that it was just it, I'm very I was very I'm very uh grateful to be able to be in everything that has happened and that's going on and yeah, it was just great. It was like a six month process. Well, yeah. So less from audition to suddenly you're in California yeah. making a show. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> it's a lot. That's how it works. Yeah. I love yeah, exactly. it. Well, Matt, talk to me. You have a you have a lot of comedy in your background, a lot of writing, a lot of successful shows. Um, but with this one, I love that there's a little bit more depth to it. I mean, obviously anytime you're transitioning from homeschool to school and middle school, it's gonna be ripe for that. But talk to me about creating that that great balance that we see. Sure, well look, I mean, it was the depth of Josh's personal story that really drew me to this. You know, I, I wanted to tell a story that had more depth and more meaning and more potential impact to it. Uh, what has been great about Apple as a home for the show is they embrace that. They want us to find those layers and tell the story not just for Josh the character, but his whole family. Right, his whole family, particularly his mom, goes through that journey of Josh going from uh, homeschool to public school alongside him. So, yeah, I just you know wanted to tell something that was fun, entertaining, but also, you know, kids are very savvy, and you know they have a lot of emotional depth to them. So, be able to uh, to be able to tell stories that honor that uh, as a writer was just exciting. I think that you know. It's universal in the sense that one of the things that I took away from it is this idea of labels, right? Labels, whether they have a negative connotation to them or a positive, you're the, you're the smart kid, you're the athlete, they carry a lot of weight and they're hard to live up to no matter how that happens. Um, Josh, maybe talk to me a little bit about labels and stereotypes within life. The interesting thing about labels and stereotypes is that um, there can be ones that are, are negative. Let's say we see a, a person who has a disability and think um, they they are disabled. They can't do things. Or you have these like sort of negative preconceived notions. But we all, might also have what we might think are positive uh, labels, right? Like, wow, you have one leg. You're so inspirational. You're amazing. You're you know like you're heroic, right? And and that that can be hard to live up to, right? It might seem like a positive label, but then all sometimes, of a sudden, right. sudden it's it's exhausting. And sometimes you don't feel inspirational. And sometimes, and the most important thing is sometimes uh, you don't you don't want to be put in a box of like this is the certain type of person you are because of this physical thing that has happened to you what you actually want is to be seen as a whole entire human being of which maybe uh, having a disability is a part but overall uh, there's a lot of other aspects to you as a person and that's how we tried to write Josh as a character is 
Sure, he has one leg, but guess what? He's also a, a great athlete and he's enthusiastic and he joins a bunch of clubs and he makes a bunch of friends. He's a whole person. Yeah, Logan, yeah. talking about that because you're you're living you're living that right for you when you got the script when you knew you were going to be part of this. What were you so glad that that the two guys sitting next to you got right about the story? Yeah, I think that it really was just so real and like all, all of the writing. It was just what I've gone through, what Josh has gone through. It's like a real part of like my life and especially uh like your life and. It was just so um, real, and it was something that, like, I've gone through myself and that other amputees have gone through. So just to, like, see on the screen and um, to be able to put that, like, into a show, it's just, I think it was great. It sounds like it was yeah, all, no, like, I, all the little details. Yeah, right? all, like, all the little details, like, um, just put together. It was, like, really and you know, Matt, that's a that's a testament to yourself too to make sure that all that is included. Yet it still feels very applicable to any family with the the things that they're going through in life, whether you know it's a move or a transition. Maybe talk a little bit about keeping it relatable yet still being very specific. Sure. Well, look, that's something that very much drew me to you know Josh's story into the show, and it's kind of our mantra, all of us throughout making this is. Um, we're telling real relatable stories about a kid who's going through middle school. Like every human has gone through that age and stumbled through. He also just happens to have a prosthetic leg. So, you know, for us, you know, I think someone who sees Josh as a character at first glance might think they have nothing in common with him because they don't have a prosthetic leg. But when they see him living life, being a kid, growing up, trying to figure out who he is, get independence from his parents, you know, grow friendships, etc., they realize this is, you know, an incredibly universal story. Just the main character also happens to have a prosthetic leg. So uh, there's so much relatable about this character and this story. And that's the biggest takeaway we want audiences to have. I couldn't agree more. I, I'm thoroughly enjoying it and I can't wait for audiences to get to see it. So thank you guys so much for taking the time today. Great, thank you. you.